guys check this this is very old computer it's more than 10 years old and if we click start menu of this windows and then type update and then if we click the link or menu check for updates it will bring us the windows update panel and here we are seeing that this pc does not currently meet meet the minimum system requirements to run windows 11 okay so basically there is no way people generally think that we can install windows 11 right but don't worry i will show you how you can install windows 11 in this old computer just check the whole video and you will understand how to do this thing so let's see hello in this video i will show you how you can install windows 11 to any old computer the method which i'll show you it doesn't matter whether this is a new computer or old computer all computers will be supported so let's see how we can install the windows 11 operating system to any old computer or new computer so at first we need to create a virtual disk so here we are seeing a couple of disks is there so i will create a virtual disk from here uh, like 16 gigabyte is fine so what we need to do we need to right click and then it will bring this type of menu from here we have to choose disk management and once we choose disk management then it will bring us this type of window here we are seeing this is a c drive so we will create a virtual disk here so to do this thing click on the action menu and then it will bring this type of menu from here we have to choose create vsd now we need to show the location so i'm going to click browse and then i'm going to click c drive and i'm going to name it like v virtual hard disk right usb for example this is the thing v usb and then press the save button then it will be named like this here now we need to choose the size so instead of megabyte i'm going to choose gigabyte and like 16 gigabyte is fine so i'm going to type 16 gigabyte okay there are other things we don't need to change finally we need to press the ok button once we press the ok button it will create a virtual disk here and it will complete this bar once this 100 percent is complete then you will see a virtual usb disk will be appeared here so we need to uh, wait till it is finished i mean this process progress bar has been finished 200 percent once the virtual disk is created we'll see like this now we need to initialize it just right click and then it will bring this menu from here choose initialize disk and it will initialize like this way we have to choose gpt from this menu and then press ok button and it will be actually it will be initialized now let's create a volume for this disk so right click and then choose new simple volume and here we have to press the next button to go forward and the size is fine which is 16 gigabyte and then press the next button and then here we need to assign a disk suppose you can assign any disk i'm going to assign like d disk this is fine right and then i'm going to press next button once i press the next button then it will ask us to create a uh, to go forward next button here the file system should be ntfs and here volume level you can change it like as this is virtual right we can change it to other name like virtual usb drive something like that right so i'm going to change this name to some meaningful name like v usb that means virtual usb drive and then i'm going to press next button and then we have to press the finish button to complete the initialization of this disk so that we can use it now we need to download two software one is rufus and there is the windows 11 operating system let's open any browser and start typing rufus and it will bring us this type of thing from here we need to download this software rufus okay if we click there we'll find this website and then if we scroll down we'll find a couple of versions of rufus are there i'm going to download this one just download it i already downloaded so i'm not going to show you the download thing and the other one uh, we need to find the windows 11 operating system right we can directly go to the microsoft website and then we can directly download the iso file in this download page if we scroll down a little bit we can see that windows 11 this is the download version and then we can press this download button and then it will uh, take some time like within fix, uh, few seconds it will ask uh, to choose a language so here you will choose your own language basically based on which you are comfortable so i'm going to choose english in the state this language and then i'm going to press the confirm button once i press the confirm button then it will give us the download link see here 64 bit download if we click here then it will start download so i only downloaded both of the 
um, software so i'm going to show you those two software so under downloads folder here we are seeing those two softwares are there on this rufus and there is windows 11 so this two software is required now we need to run this rufus application i'm going to double click and the rufus application will give us this type of warning this is not the rufus application windows is giving us this warning we have to press yes button to run this application once it is started running then it will show like this here by default uh, the virtual usb drive it will show like this way but if it is not showing then just click the drop down and from there choose that in that uh, basically that virtual disk which we created earlier right from here so now we need to choose the operating system so click the select and it will bring us this menu we have to go download where the iso file we download it we have to choose it and then we have to press the open button so that it will be linked like this way okay and uh, like windows 11 and select like this now image option standard windows installation here we can choose like standard windows installation this one and then partition is, is gpt this this option is fine right and the format option we can make uh, this thing like uh, win 11 as it as it is like windows 11 operating system and the file system is ntfs fine and the current size is also fine now we have to press the start button once we press the start button then it will bring us this option now click everything from here and if you don't want to create the local user you can uncheck this but i'm going to create a local user like for my case i'm going to uh, uh, create a local user like user like few steps and i'm going to check all this thing so basically this is uh, a minor tweak so that my windows will be faster that's why i uncheck every i checked everything okay and i also create the username like few steps okay then once everything is done now we have to press the ok button and once i press the ok button it will give us this warning like everything will be destroyed from the virtual disk we know that right and then we have to press the ok button to continue now you will see the status bar is there it will take few uh, minutes less than uh, two minutes i think so okay so uh, you have to wait till it finished once this is formatted properly then we will see this type of green bar and here there will be two buttons start and close we need to press the close button to complete this setup i'm going to click the close button and then it will be closed this is our virtual usb drive right which we actually uh, copied all the windows 11 setup file now it's time to start the installation so we have to access this folder or this drive which is the virtual drive and then we'll find a setup.exe file we just need to double click on top of it and then it will give us this type of warning we have to press yes button and then it will bring the installation window of windows 11 we have to wait few seconds till it is coming so here it is showing like preparing 26 percent 32 percent in this way it will complete 100 percent and then the main installation window of windows 11 will be appeared once it is appeared it will show like this install windows 11 and then there is some other thing and change how setup download updates so and there is a checkbox i want to help make this, this thing so i don't want to check this box and here if you click here you can it will show us the get updates drivers and optional features i don't want to download the latest uh, thing so i'm going to choose no right now and then i'm going to press the next button once i press the next button it will give us this type of thing like checking and getting ready something like that you don't need to do anything uh, you have to wait till it brings you this type of thing like application notice and license terms so there is a big license you can read but i'm not going to read it and then we have to accept, uh, uh, press this accept button i'm going to press accept button and then it is uh, basically it will do some other thing making sure you are ready to install and it is doing something it may take a few minutes we have to wait and uh, don't close this thing if you close it you have to start from the beginning once it is finished then we will, we can go forward by pressing the next button or by choosing some other settings also it is showing like ready to install right so install windows 11 pro and keep personal files and apps so we just need to click this on change what you want to keep uh, i want a clean installation but if you want to keep your files you can actually keep personal files only it will keep or you can also keep personal files and application also i don't need this thing basically that's why i already take every backup uh, to other drive that's why i'm going to choose this thing so if i choose nothing it will be a complete fresh installation everything will be deleted including files apps and settings right so it will be clean installation so i like this one so i'm going to press next button and then 
once we press the next button it will continue and it will do some other changes now it is showing ready to install okay so it is giving the update the install windows 11 pro and keep nothing and then uh, we can press the install button to start the installation and now it will start the installation here we are seeing that uh, installing windows 11 and the, your pc will restart several times this might take a while and it will complete 100 percent and then after once it's complete 100 percent then it will reboot the system and the system will be rebooted a couple of times and finally we can see the windows 11 once the installation is completed successfully then we will see this type of windows uh, i changed the graphics basically the theme is changed a little bit and then also if we want to open our computer and here we will see this is our hard disk and this is the same old computer which we used to install windows 11 so that's it guys in this way we can easily install windows 11 operating system to any old computer uh, it doesn't matter whether it is showing that the device is not supported or something like that hopefully this video will be helpful and if you have any question or issue uh, please put in the comment section thank you for watching the video